Hey guys, Step Games here, and uh, today we are going to be continuing the FNAF tutorial that we made in the last video. Now, in the last video, we've made looking around with the mouse, and uh, that's pretty much it. We also made a flashlight, and yeah, let's go. So, first thing I've made is some uh, quick level sequencer, which uh, opens and closes the door. I'm gonna show you. Um, play and you can see it opens the door now this is very easy to do just click cinematics add new level sequence and then this will get created uh, this right here in the level now um, you can move this anywhere you want just so it is visible and over here you can click open level sequence this will open up now you want to se select your door now go to track and add actor to sequencer. Now it should appear over here, but I've al already added the cube. Now, uh, for the first frame, you want to leave it. Um, wait, I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you. Okay, so I'm gonna just do this. Delete all the keys. And now, first frame, we want the door to be open. So we click plus. Now, when it's closed. We want to move it down and move this over here and we press plus. Now if we go back and press play, it closes the door. We now have a great level sequencer. Okay. Um, don't worry about that. It should... Okay, no. Uh, this shouldn't happen to you, it's just my problem. Okay. So now, what we want to do is to go um, over to our settings, our project settings, and input. Over here, we want to make a new action mapping and rename it to interact. Sorry, interact, nice. Now, this, we will change it to a left mouse button. Now, let's go back to our third person blueprints and third person character. And over here, okay, uh, this is, this, don't look at that. Okay, now, first thing we want to do is over here, you probably have, uh, let me show you. This is probably what you have over here. Now you want to delete this because this won't work with the system we are using and instead add set input mode game and UI. Now connect this. Um, sorry. <laughs> sorry, I'm s I didn't want to do that. We want to connect this over here and hide cursor during capture set to true. No, false, false, okay. Set it li like this. Now, um, over here we want to right click and type interact. Now, this is the event we added in our project settings. Now from pressed we want to line trace for objects. Now, um, the start we want to um, copy this part over here and paste it over here. Now, our location is going to be to start. We're gonna drag out of world direction and go times, times float, and this float is going to be 1000. And we're gonna add plus, vector, and Plug rotation over here. Now we want to plug this in the end. Now we're gonna save and the draw debug type. We're gonna set this to for duration. Now if we go to our level and we okay, never mind. Okay, um, I forgot we want to drag out of object types, make array. 
and over here we just leave world static. Uh, we can also add world dynamic, but this will work for most. Um, if you want an actor, for example, you use pawn or something else over here. But uh, this will do. Now we're gonna compile again. I'm gonna go to play. And now if we click, you can see a block appears where we click. Now we just want to go to our map now. And what we want to do is to make the button into a blueprint. Now I'm going to click blueprint add script. And I'm just gonna name this button blueprint. I'm gonna save it wherever I want, I don't really care. Now, um, we're just gonna close this off. And over here, in our third person character, we want to drag out out hit and break break hit result now click this arrow over here and we get a lot of um, different stats now the only one we need is hit actor now we want to drag out of this and we're gonna get class enter from get class we want to equal class and now we want to find button and button blueprint now over here we want to add a branch and connect it over here and from here we want to um, connect it over here now um, i'm going to just add a print string to see if it works And it works. You can see something plays when you click the button. Uh, it shows up over here. So now what we want to do is to add a new event dispatcher. Now we are going to call this um, toggle door. You can name this whatever you want. Now I'm going to um, call this. I'm going to drag out over here and call. Connect this over here. Now I'm going to compile and save. And now I want to go into our third person example map and go to our blueprints and our level blueprint. Now let's go back to our map and find the little actor of our level sequencer. We're going to click on it and then go back to our third person example map. Over here we want to right click and create a reference to open door. Now, we need to drag out and play. Uh, no, start. No, I'm stupid. Um, okay, yeah, it's play sequence player, okay. Now, uh, what we also want to do is right click and I begin play. Now, even begin play, from here we want to um, cast to third person character. From object is going to be get player character. Now, from as third person character, we want to bind event to toggle door over here. Now, from over here, we want to add a flip flop. And over here, we want to reverse, play reverse. And B is going to go over here. And over here, we want to add a custom event. We're going to name this toggle door. And what we want to do now is connect the event over here. I'm gonna compile and save. And now, um, okay, never mind. Um, and now, uh, what you can see is that um, toggle door. How this works? Okay, on event begin play, 
we cast this toggle door to our third person example map, um, which we bind to our toggle door event. Now, every time this calls, this happens, this will happen, which will once it will play the sequence player and one it will reverse which means it will close and open the door i'm gonna save okay i don't know why it doesn't work for me but if i press play now and i click the button it uh, <laughs> it's okay i know what the problem over here okay we want to open the level sequence and I've made it far too long, okay? So I want to make it a little shorter. Maybe a little slower. Now if I press oh sorry, my bad. If I press play now, then I click, it should close and open the door. So yeah, that's how you do that. Uh, now of course you can uh, use this to anything else uh, you can add another button and do the same thing for uh, which you did over here also the reason why is it glitching like this is we want to go over here and pause at end this is important if you press this it should work just fine nice Okay, so if you want to see more parts on the series, let me know. I have read some comments that you guys want um, some Joy of Creation stuff, which is funny because uh, Joy of Creation is basically what inspired me to make all of my FNAF games and uh, tutorials. So yeah, I will be making series on the Joy of Creation soon. And I hope you enjoyed. Thank you all so much for uh, 1000 subscribers. That's uh, pretty insane and yeah have a nice time and uh, see you in the next time bye